Well, hello everybody. Um, as many of you may know, I haven't made a video in a while. And I don't know when this one will get posted, but, uh... I got a Dell Dimension here, C521. Uh, I got it from John. Wrecking car 72, Chop Chop Underground, something like that it goes. What we're looking at is right down there. Little ram sticks. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, uh, since the computer isn't plugged in, and I had a couple people tell me to unground my computers because I had some the electrical systems in these CFLs uh, had some issues so uh, hold on ground I don't think that's such a good idea because uh, static electricity um, especially static discharge when you're working on a computer like this is uh, you can be bad for the components especially when you're working with RAM modules now these what you're going to want to do you'll see those uh, I've got to get my grounding wire out of here you'll see these white tabs you just push them out like that there's one that's kind of under the CD-ROM drive here. Push it, and you can feel it dislodge the RAM. There we go. That RAM stick came out. I'll set that aside. That can be reused. Get out of here, ground wire. And here we go. Let's do the second one. That one. Usually, you don't have a camera in your hand, and you push them both at the same time, and the RAM comes out. So I'm here, we're going to take a quick look at it. It's 5 megabyte. This board can only take up to 2 gigabytes. And I'm not sure if it required a match set. But I got a kit for it anyway. Uh, I kind of almost always use the same brand, Kingston RAM, for general computing and even some gaming systems. 5300 okay if you can see what I'm doing kinda wanna seat it evenly and these clips should just snap into place there's one gently but there you go gently sometimes got to use a little bit of force and you don't want to touch the contacts if at all possible and we're going to go in the second slot here it's really easy sometimes these can be stubborn little buggers make sure it's lined up there is a notch in here and you can only put it in one way versus you know, what's front and what's reverse If you look over here, that's your floppy drive, hard drives underneath it. If you have one of these, the CD-ROM drives uh, tend to vibrate in these cases because these cases are designed to be uh, worked on without tools or to swap out parts easily. These parts don't usually sit in there tight. They just kind of snap into place and they float. This CD uh, DVD burner happens to be a high speed, very high speed, especially when it reads, and it vibrates like crazy. So to reduce some of that, I put duct tape on the contact surfaces. So when that goes in here, it has a somewhat of a muffled, snug fit. that in place and 
and it's happy. Thanks for watching.